All right, today we're gonna to focus on TEKS 5.3H, and we're gonna talk about one part of it, and that is subtracting fractions, okay? So look at this picture. A lot of times on assessments, you may get this type of picture. This picture actually represents two fractions, okay? So first, let's talk about what's the first fraction, okay? Remember, the top is my numerator, the bottom is my denominator. How many total squares or total pieces do we see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight is my denominator because it represents my total pieces. Okay, so it's eight. Now of these total pieces, how many are shaded? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six is my numerator because it represents total shaded. In other words, six out of eight total pieces are shaded. But this is also a subtraction problem because I'm seeing X's once again. What's my denominator? What is my total pieces? How many total pieces do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have a total of eight pieces. How many pieces have an X through it? One, two, three, four, five, five. So in reality, my number sentence is six, over eight minus five over eight or five eighths. And the answer is, well, we know we do not subtract denominator, so the denominator stays the same. We only subtract the numerators. Six minus five equals one. <clears throat> so this picture represents six over eight minus five over eight. And when you solve it, it equals one over eight. Now this question here, four six or four over six minus one over three or one third. How do I subtract fractions that do not have the same denominator? Okay, we call using the ND chart or numerator denominator chart to figure out the common denominator, okay? So I'm going to make two ND charts. And my goal is to locate the common denominator. My numerator is four, so I write four here under the numerator. <coughs> six is my denominator, so I write six here. One is my numerator, so I'll write one here. Three is my denominator, so I'll write three here. Remember, numerator, denominator, numerator, denominator, numerator, denominator, numerator, denominator. Now I'm going to skip count by each number. So since this is four, I'm going to skip count by four. So four, four plus four is eight. 8 plus 4 is 12. I'm going to do the same with my 6's. 6, then 6 plus 6 is 12. 6 plus 12 is 18. I'm going to do the same thing here. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. Remember, I'm skip counting by the original number. Then I have 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. Now I'm going to focus on my denominator section. Do I see any numbers in both the denominator columns that are the same? I do. 6 and 6. I'm going to circle 4, 6. Then I'll circle 2, 6. Now that I have common denominators, I can subtract. This now is four over six minus two 
2 over 6. Remember, you cannot subtract or add fractions unless they have the same denominator. Now we're going to subtract. Remember, we can't subtract the denominators. They must stay the same. It's 6. But we can subtract 4 minus 2, the numerators. 4 minus 2 is 2. Please feel free to watch this video as many times as you need to. But once again, this is 5.3H, subtracting fractions.